Hello, and welcome to part two of Controlled Substances, Best Practices for Preventing Diversion. In today's session, we'll learn common opportunities for drug diversion in long-term care. We'll list the four victims of drug diversion. We'll discuss the impact of drug diversion on patient safety, and we'll identify caregiver behaviors commonly associated with drug diversion. First, the definition of drug diversion. There are two standard definitions. The first is transfer of a controlled substance from a lawful to an unlawful channel of distribution or use. The second is any criminal act involving a prescription drug. Drug diversion occurs when a medication is redirected from its intended destination for personal use, sale, or distribution to others. It can include drug theft, drug use, tampering, Drug diversion is a felony offense that can result in criminal prosecution and loss of your license. There are multiple opportunities to divert drugs in the long-term care setting, from receipt to retrieving a drug from storage, preparing medications, administering medications, or wasting or destroying medications. There are multiple methods of drug diversion in long-term care. Common methods include substituting a medication, underdosing a patient, pulling duplicate doses, failing to waste or document waste, or stealing from drug disposal, stealing from disposal storage areas, rather. There are four victims of drug diversion in long-term care. The first victim is the individual who is diverting the drugs. The second is the residents whose drugs are being diverted, also coworkers and the employer. Drug diversion impacts patient care and safety. There is a potential for denying patients appropriate pain relief when diversion of scheduled doses occurs or when documentation of pain at the time of a medication is diverted. Falsification of records can occur, which is fraudulent. Theft can occur and staff impairment resulting in patient harm or reckless endangerment. Awareness and recognition are the first steps toward preventing and detecting drug diversion in your facility. Educate yourself. Know your facility's policies and procedures regarding controlled medications and follow them vigilantly. Be on the lookout for diversion. Recognize it through personal observation. And speak up. Report suspected diversion or suspicious activity immediately to your supervisor. To protect yourself and your residents and avoid any implication that you may be diverting controlled substances, always follow your community's policies and procedures, always act professionally, and ask questions if you're unsure. Limit opportunities for diversion. Only a licensed nurse or other authorized personnel should receive controlled substances from the pharmacy driver. The access key to controlled substance storage should not be the same key that allows access to other medications. The medication staff member on duty should maintain possession of the keys to controlled substance storage areas. Avoid a single staff member transporting controlled substances pending destruction. Be professional. Avoid carrying medications in your uniform pocket. Even if your community's policy and procedure does not prohibit it, this practice is unprofessional and questionable in terms of infection prevention and the five rights of medication administration. Carrying medications in your pocket may lead to omissions of therapy, a delay in administering a medication, or suspicion of diversion. During change of shift counts, ensure both staff members verify both the medication inventory and the record log. Avoid buddy counting, using the same witness routinely for medication destruction and accessing the emergency drug kit. Staff behaviors which may be indicators of drug diversion include frequent tardiness, prolonged or frequent breaks, arrival at work when they're not scheduled, early arrival or late departures from work, regular requests for overtime, isolation from others at meals or social events, changes in personality, appearance, or demeanor, poor judgment and erratic work performance are all staff behaviors which could be indicators of drug diversion. Patient care indicators of potential drug diversion include frequent spills or wasted doses or wasting entire doses a pattern of removal or wasting near the end of a shift, inconsistency in nursing notes, drugs in pockets, missing medications or discrepancies, refusal to comply with narcotic diversion investigations or procedures, 
signs of medication or sharps container tampering or storage uh, facility tampering. His or her residents complaining of unrelieved pain related to the shift worked. Offering to medicate other nurses residents or requests to care for specific residents and any requests for specific narcotics to be ordered for his or her residents could all be indicators of potential drug diversion. Be sure to protect yourself. Medication diversion has serious consequences, including suspension or loss of license, termination of employment, or possible criminal charges. Avoid any suspicion that you may be diverting medication by diligently following your facility's policies and procedures. Even if you are innocent, suspicion and the investigation process can cause emotional distress and damage to your rep reputation. When suspected diversion has occurred, an investigation will begin by your community's leadership team. State surveyors and law enforcement officials may also arrive at your community to investigate. They'll be looking for your community's policies and procedures on controlled substances, including who has access to narcotics, uh, the storage and handling policies for the narcotics, and any monitoring or documentation of residents who receive a narcotic medication. They'll review the administration record of controlled substances. They'll review documentation of the change of shift narcotic counts, and they'll review documentation of destruction of controlled substances. Common areas for investigation include evidence of patient harm, such as unrelieved pain on a particular shift or when a particular staff member is working, excessive signouts of controlled substances, or signouts of a particular medication by one staff member only, or signouts for a specific resident by one staff member only, or more pain medication signed out for a resident by one particular staff member compared to others. In summary, every staff member is responsible for preventing and detecting drug diversion. Know and follow your community's policies and procedures. Ask questions if you're unsure of how to handle a situation. Ensure complete and accurate record keeping. Be vigilant for signs of substance abuse and drug diversion. And most importantly, if you see something, say something. Thank you for joining us.